unplug. Oh, that's a rubbishy idea. No, you put it back the other way, isn't it? I don't think I can. Yeah, I think Bear can. with us, everyone. Uh, no. Hang on. Sorry. Sorry, people. Sorry, We're everyone. I don't know. Oh. We've never had to do that before, have we? Can you all hear us? Can everybody hear us? Please say yes. Please say something, somebody. Let us know that you're there. Oh, that means I've got to sit closer to you if I've got to it that way. Why aren't the comments coming up? Can you hear us? Evening all. Steve, can you hear us okay? Hello, Steve. Can you hear us? Can you hear us, anybody? Can you let us know in a comment? Oh, brilliant, you can. Yeah, happy holidays, folks. Oh, it's always stressful. And being as we haven't... Good evening, everybody, by the way. My name's Robert. This is the old birdling. Uh... I've got to get that in before she does. Oh, gosh, this is very strange. You have to sit a bit closer. I don't I like can't us. move the bloody chair, can I? Uh, yeah, it's been over 12 months since we've done a live, so... Kevin Newbury, how you doing? Ian King... How you doing? Been here with Amanda D and hi Amanda Ian from King Lincoln. Ian King said he can't hear us. He can't. Hi from Lincoln, Amanda Dean. The screen looks very narrow. I know. I don't. Hang on, bear with us. Let me. You've got to be able to turn it. Oh. Hang on. That's looking at the back. Uh, let's press it again. No. No. For some reason, it'll only let me do it like that. Yeah. <sighs> don't know. Don't know what's Sorry, happened. Sorry. Uh, yeah, it's. We've never had to do this before, no. for some reason, the orientation. The old the bird Jill's on. How you doing, Jill? Hiya, Jill. How you doing? Tracy Thompson, how you doing? Philip Hoyton, how you doing, yeah. buddy? Uh, Kevin and Heidi do motorhoming, how you doing? What's the one thing that most annoys you about each other? Everything. His voice. <laughs> Does he? Yeah. Why? I think live from a phone on YouTube says in portrait. I'm actually using my iPad, not my phone. Yeah. But every time we've used, we've done a live, we've used my iPad, and I've done it that way. But for some reason, it won't let me. Ashley and Haley so from Travels in Spain. Sorry. Rupert Danbury, Matthew Nor Norway, Nor Northway. Katie Mays. Oh, I'm sorry, these are going up so quickly. Yeah, slow down, people. We're no, getting don't. old. Carl Woodcock. Hi from Barnsley. We are at Conker's uh, Caravan and Camping Club yes. site. And it's a great site, folks. Where, it really is. Where are we? Conker's. The National Forest, Forest in Derby, Derbyshire. Mm. Oh, gosh, I don't like this. <clears throat> Hang on, I've got to say hello to everybody anyway. Hi, Robin Karen, Lee from Karen and Karen. Karen and Heidi, what's the, the Coke? That's my drink. <laughs> He was holding my drink because I was trying to sort the iPad out. Who said that? I can't remember. You're asking me that now. <laughs> two two minutes, uh, yes, two seconds ago. This is crap with a screen like this I one. I know. I'll try it with the iPad, uh, the Mac next time. I'm just not very good with the Apple Macintosh. No. Computers. Right. Bobby, Bobby Box, how are you doing? Still crazy. Of course we are. I hope you're all doing well, mate. Hello, Robin Lynn from Top Notch. So when you're looking at the screen on your, whatever you're watching on your TV, is it like narrow and weird? Uh, Hello from Worcester, Golden Retriever and a camper van. Hello. Yes. Tracy Thompson, when's yeah. the cooking coming back on? Right. The good news is, fingers crossed, I'm going to get one up for the next four Sundays because I haven't got my granddaughter for a bit and I'm hoping I can record some and schedule them because it's half term and whatever. Uh, and Dean says, yes, the screen is small. So it's like watching it in your TV. I, I, I apologise. Nothing we don't can know, do about don't it know what's now. Don't know what's happened about that. We are live from Conkers, people, so we're doing our best here. Uh, John Davidson, hi from Kim and John. How are you doing? Both? Where's the tracksuit, Lynn? We it's... don't talk about the tracksuits anymore. Rob looks thinner this way. <laughs> oh, Unbelievable. I wish I could get him in portrait mode all the time then. Yes, you're narrow. That's good then, isn't it? We're narrow. Get off. I've told you none of your nonsense tonight. It's narrow and weird. You'll have to sit on Rob's lap, Lynn. No. Uh, Tony and Cars in Mid Wales. Tony and Cars in Mid... Tony and Cass in Mid Wales. Sorry. How are you doing? 
Have you any vi plans to visit? I'm going to have to look at my phone, sorry. Have you any plans to visit East Anglia? We haven't done that region at all, have we? No. Uh, Chalk is in a van. Hope you are doing well. Yeah. Um, it's in portrait. I know. I can't do anything. If Hi I turn it the other way, it just cuts off. Rain, Droit, what are Jay doing? Rob, are you building... Are you in the building industry? industry. Come on, son. Where no, no, I'm, in a, I'm a fencing contractor. I've, I've been on my life. Uh, Neil Dance, how you doing? Hi, Neil. Tracy Thompson can't wait for them to the meetup. No, we can't. We're uh, Linda Ma Maffin, Maffin. We are busy okay. planning Hello. everything in the background at the moment. We've got a, a sort of a, a meetup for our organisers next weekend. Um, so we're going to tack a roof to have a, a bit of a a bit of a mini meet up, aren't we, to discuss yeah. a yeah, few Yeah, if anybody things. wants to come to Takaroo next weekend, come along. It's uh, actually, it's £25 a night because on next weekend at Takaroo, they've got toilet showers and a pop-up shop and there is some electric there because I never use these. I don't know how it's going to work. Mm. We haven't got a clue, but uh, there's a, well, there's four, four lots of us, isn't there, going? Yeah. So that should be really, really good. Well, it'll be all right, but Gary's going in. Oh, I know. Yeah. There's always a drawback. Yeah. Uh, John Wakefield, how you doing? If we're missing anybody out, we are. We apologise. Kevin Davis, where's your t-shirt, Rob? I've sold it. <laughs> <laughs> I did tell him just, Kev, go and can you go and please put your t-shirt on? And yeah. he, he, to be honest, I don't think he can get up. He's absolutely shattered. Hi, Rob and Liam, look good. Oh, I missed it on man. a mobile. I'm sorry if we're missing your comments. But... Evening, both. Uh, is, there will be access tomorrow. For the river to launch the kayak oh at your rally yes yes there is there's a what they call the beach which is it's only about three well no about 12 foot yeah, long isn't yeah, it through the, the trees yeah. but you can launch a kayak we, we there's have loads of access for kayaks to be honest yeah hi i've, I've been on bloody paddle boards and everything in there hi from new zealand hello new zealand it was oh, uh, pato 18. hello Takaroo, nice there. Bobby's Box, I'm off to the Lake District next week. Have a lovely time. We've only ever been there once, haven't we? Where? To the lakes. Yes. When our kids did the Three Peak Challenge. Oh, gee, bro. Oh, um, uh, turn that a bit. Yeah. Hang on. Is that it? Oh, no. No, get back over. Um, she Steve, wants me by her, folks. I don't. I just want you in the picture. Looking forward to the meet-up. Love the channel. Rachel and Steve, Paul and Helena. Takaroo's. That's five minutes away from us. Yeah, well, as you know, we love it there. Yeah, we'll be there next weekend, people. We'll be hammered. Uh, Jim well, Jeffries, will love to come to Takaroo, but we're home for a few days. Hi to Matthew Whitten. I'm on the same site as you. Hello. Hello, Matthew Whitten. I've heard of his name before. Have you? Where are you, Matthew? And Fiona Whitten. That's obviously his wife. Hello, Fiona. She's Fiona. At Fiona. At Fiona. She's at Conkers as well. Okay, which I, I should hope so. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Andy, when do we, where do we drop the stuff off for the raffle? Uh, on the day. Please don't, yeah, please bring everything with you for our meetup or yeah. the, the raffle prizes, etc. Uh, bring them with you because we have not got the storage. No, we've got no room at all, to be honest, so yeah. That'd because, be, yeah, that'd be good. we've got some, uh, we've got some good prizes. We've got a, a power station. We've got some. A flying lesson. Yeah, we've got, um, two high sapientia ovens that I've managed to to source. Yeah, there's going to be loads of great prizes there, to be honest. <sighs> has Rob had a haircut? Keith and Michelle, hi to you too. How are you? Yes, he has. Kev C, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, Kev. How's your new caravan, Keith and Michelle? Um, Beth Crowther, so sad we can't make your meet-up. So Who's the crack? Is he on a bed, Nick? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Unbelievable. We are just, we, we, will you go to the nurseries, campsite warden and trolls up? Missed it. I missed that one. We've got no plans to go to nurseries, but maybe we will try it. I, th I thought they were turning it all into a static park. I might be wrong. Mm. Uh, can you please say hello to hubby Steve Flitton, who is in hospital. Hi to you, Steve. Hi, Steve. Wish you a speedy recovery. Speedy recovery yeah, from both of us. Uh, what will be your real age in July? Richard Court asks. Mine? Yeah. Uh, 104. Uh, Kate Williams, greeting from across the pond. 
Louise Dodd, hiya Lynn and Rob. I'm glad that you put my name first. I'm happy with that. I'm not really happy with it. Well, come on, Robert, get in the frame. Is he in? Oh, there you are. Look, see if you look on my phone. Why I've got, are you the boy I've got phone Hang on, I've got to move a bit closer, folks. Did you have to? <sighs> um, thanks to the cook, yeah, Kev, um, Kev Davis, the one who does our wonderful shop promoting yes. it here again the link is in the description below on this video as is the last couple of videos please go across and get some more and kev just said thanks to the customers who's placed their orders yeah yeah kev uh, the merchandise is pretty good to be honest oh, man. It's so lovely. Thank you. we love it we're uh yeah yes is that how we look on this yes why can't we turn it around because if i turn it then it goes all weird for some strange reason i'm just showing it Hang on, i'm gonna try it on my phone I've, you, I've already tried it and then it goes that way look there you go, that's better. No, it's not. Hang on, put it back up. No, there. that's upside down. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh. You know, it's one of those moments I wish I hadn't bothered. No. Yeah, it's better now. You can see me. Are we both in it now? Hang on, look. It did work. Right, do it again. Sorry, Beck, just bear with us. Yeah, bear with us, please. We're trying to get this turn right. It, turn it back right. There you you're go. not going to see the comments. Right, hang on a sec. Let's see if it comes right with the phone. Is that right now, folks, or are we upside down? Are we upside down? Hang on, people, I'm just doing it now. Bear with us, people. Channel is locked. Rotate the device. No, That's uh, pretty Anne, bad. Dean's just messaged and she said, no, it's worth it. Upside down again, Robert. Oh, right. See what I mean? See what's going on? Bloody hell. Right, that's it. I'm sorry about that. Right, so, where are we now? We look upside down. No, are we're we upside not. down now? No, we're right now. We will be in a minute when this okay. goes. <laughs> Hang on, get it right. Hang on. There we go. Right. I can't get in the screen, man. Can I do something about that? No, that's that's my phone, Robert. It's on there. Yeah, it's all linked, isn't it? Oh, I really, yeah. I'm so, he's making me feel sick too. I do apologise. Hang on. Let's move the table. This is an absolute bloody nightmare. Disaster. <sighs> no. This is just. I'm really sorry, people. Right. Can you tell we're new to this? Well, can you all see us now? Can you see both of us? because I think we're a bit delayed on here. And I can't look at the photos because I'm live streaming no, no. on here. Can you see both of us now, everybody? That's better. It's still, yeah, that's better. Oh, great, thank you. Right. And you'll get there in the end, folks. Uh, Amanda Dean, need to send you an email about a prize for the rally, which is the best way You've to You've got rotation you. lock on. Somebody just said you've got rotation lock on. Oh, on that? Yes. Maybe, but that means coming off and starting again, so I'm, I'm just yeah. going to have to leave. But as long as you both see us now, your full screen on my phone looks fine. Okay, Great. Okay. right. Uh, Amanda Dean, if you send it to robinlinontour at gmail.com, which is our email, that's the best way to get in touch with us. I'll be taking most of the room laughing out loud. Unbelievable, top notch. <sighs> he always does. Have you guys ever thought about visiting America? Yes, we have seriously thought oh, about it. Oh, we'd love to go. Yeah, yeah. We, I mean, our dream is to hire, hire an RV and, and travel. No, but... we'll take this. But it's just, I've looked into it and the price is just astronomical. Yeah, yeah we're looking for uh, sponsors. Nick Lovett, <laughs> have you forgotten about uncovering in the last video? Oh, yeah, I did. Thank uncovering goodness. what? You don't want to, when, I, you want to make, when I went to take my dry robe off, you don't want to see that. No, you really don't, to be honest. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, fancy doing an episode from our new narrow boat, Martin and Claire. Yeah, well, I'll do that. Yeah, get in touch. Private messages, so we'll be there. Is that, are they asking us if we want to do one I don't with know, I don't know, because I missed the comment. Uh, I'm, I'm Robert, you look these. beautiful. Give us a kiss. I'm getting worried about you, Matt. <laughs> uh, Rob, is that Diet Coke you're drinking? He, that, he was actually holding my drink for me. Keith and Michelle, they're loving the new caravan. He looks beautiful. We used to have a unicorn. We had the unicorn Valencia, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Back actually, we saw one pull up here the other day, yeah. and uh, we've brought members back, you know, because we had a great time in the Valencia. Really good time. Love caravans. I mean, mostly, you know, we love caravans. 
Uh, yeah, the Yorkshire man, have you got any plans to visit the Yorkshire sites? Yes, we'd love yes. to. Yorkshire's we, amazing, love it. Yeah, we uh, there's so much to see in this country. We absolutely mm. love it. And the problem we have because I, I work full time, it, it's just time. It's it's uh, logistics of cheers actually getting out and about. If you know what I mean, we do try our best. We do try and get to all our spare time goes to go away because that's what we like doing. Bobby's box, as you said, when we do a wild camp. We always do wild camps. We did it in Scotland, Bobby. What's the matter with you? Did we? Yeah. We stopped to the bloody. Yeah, we did. Where? I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, I'm not keen on it, to be honest. I. Uh... Hello, Carmen. Is that Carmen? Car Corin. Um, I just don't fancy. Maybe at the peaks where everybody I know where loads of people go off grid. I'm not one for doing lay-bys or anything like that. I'm uh, I'm a bit of a tit like that. I want to feel safe. Uh, catch up, please. Can't see much. Hang on. Well, that's what everyone can see. So it's not too bad. Okay. Everyone seems to be going to Morocco. Will you end up there? Yes, I'd love to go to Morocco. I yeah. really would like to go to Our Morocco. Our friends Trev and Luz are over there at the moment, and mm. it looks absolutely amazing. Uh... Tracy Thompson, do you think you'll ever live in your van? I don't, I'm, I'm going to say never say never at the moment. That sounds brilliant. I missed it about the boat, yeah. Um, yeah, I haven't. You'll have to privately message us about the boat because... Yeah, yeah. We're, we're yeah, because it's hard because the, the comments go up so fast, so... What was I on the boat? <coughs> I don't know. I've forgotten as well. Sorry what, what if, if I was answering. Uh, and I've totally forgot and I'm trying to hello Liver Couple, can you tell me what camera you used from the mount? It is the GoPro Black Edition. GoPro eleven Black, Black Edition. Edition yeah. The camera's okay but sometimes it freezes, it gets oh. on your bloody nerves, but we have we have learned how to cope with that. Boys boys in the Bailey, Ash here, where's the furthest you've been in your van? Gibraltar. Yes. That's the furthest. It's uh, probably the best place we've ever been. Yeah, I, we absolutely love Gibraltar. Gibraltar. Gibraltar is amazing. If anybody ever gets a chance to go to Gibraltar, it's brilliant. When are you coming towards Portsmouth? We, I don't know. We, we, we will. I don't know. Hope we will at mm. some point this year. Mm. We have been to Portsmouth, actually. Well, not not in this, but I've been to Portsmouth many times because, because uh, uh, as most of you know, that well, some of you know, the lads are the military and. Yeah, I've been to Portsmouth. Yeah. Our sons. Uh, why did we go? Was it Robbie's when he came back from Afghan? That was, was it the middle parade? Was that Plymouth or Portsmouth? I can't remember. It's it's a few years ago yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, Keith, Michelle, if you email me, uh, I'll, I'll see what I can sort out because it is something we need to. Yeah. Um, is this your first live? No, it's not. We have done quite a few before. Yeah, it's our first one since... February, February last year. Yeah, yeah, February last year, like our last live. It, it, yes, again, it, it would again, it's just uh, it's just time and logistics of doing a live. But I love lives. I think it's brilliant. I don't because I can't edit him out, and I have to. Actually, it, I think I've been well behaved tonight so far. So far, but we have only been on eighteen minutes. Um, how long do you think you'll keep your current van at the moment? Probably forever. Probably forever because. I mean, we have had an absolutely amazing offer, which I can't really talk about, but it is an amazing offer. No, no, but the Yorkshire man, we've had no update yet. We're waiting to, sorry, we're waiting to meet them. June, from June Aldi, or July, in yeah. June and July, yeah. We want to see them face to face before we can go any further with that. Yeah, going back to changing the van, like I said, we've had an absolutely amazing offer, but I think the thing that's pulling us off is how much prob how many problems we've had mm. with this. They have only been small problems, but they've had to be done. And if we've got to go through all that again, I mean, it took three years, hasn't it, to get the van? Yeah, fixed. because the, this van now is a 2020 it's, plate, and it, it's like brand new inside because it's been rebuilt. we have had so much done to this van through warranty. So, yeah. So, that, that's what. Do we want to go through it again? No. Probably not. We do At the moment, we don't know. We do think that our pump is on yeah. its way out, don't we? Yeah. What's the pump? The water pump. It was making some very strange noises, mm. so 
that's something we need to get looked at. But I know a man who can. What you've got to take into account on these uh, motorhomes or caravans, nothing is made to last. Nothing at all. Nothing in it is made to last. They're not built like they used yeah. to be. So when your warrant is up. I mean, we have. So what, what I'm trying to say is everything on. While you can, if it's in warranty, get it done. Get it, get done. it sorted. Yeah. Test everything to yeah. its, its limits. Yeah. Uh, Lynn, where's Lynn's green tracksuit? Shut up, Martin. Takaru is in Canuck Chase. Yes. It's stunning. Absolutely mm. stunning. Just like me. Oh, we've got loads of hearts here. Anthony Bass. Yes. How are you doing? You guys are great. Ant Anthony, so are you. Oh, we <laughs> think you are brilliant, man. Now sit down and just watch. <laughs> Shut up, rubbish. Oh, love it. Oh, dear me. Uh, build a panel van and never look back. Actually, going back to that, well, most of you probably know. If it was up to me, I would have a panel van. Because I love panel vans. I think they're amazing. You can uh, you can do so much to them. With a motor home, you are limited what you can do. Unless you're Steve Radford. Uh, but yeah. But Lynn, Lynn doesn't want to... Uh... I like the space. I, I need the space. Especially with mm. the dogs. Yeah. And yeah, you, if I want to go to bed and Robert wants to stop up and watch TV. Good Anthony. I'm glad to hear it. We've got two separate areas that we can use. And I... Mm. I just I, I absolutely love the panel vans and like I've said when I've gone in them when they you know you go on have a look inside one they look amazing but then you think about all the stuff that you carry and they're not going to look like that because I mean this van that's very true actually we, because when you go like you just said when you go to show them and see a panel one they look absolutely beautiful and they are they, I'm not they saying are. they're not but they are but once you've got all your stuff in you are limited really limited to space and another, in our opinion yeah another thing about changing this mo this, mm. this motor home is we have our payload is massive yeah so we we haven't we, got to worry about what we, we never in. think about mm. taking power banks generators scooters mm. whatever bikes anything we haven't got to worry about it Stuart and andy's van life how you doing uh looking forward to the meet all booked up and today we'll see you soon mate yes. close your eyes and it'll be here but do you use all the, the stuff, stuff you take? Need? Probably not. Well, I, I think nah, probably no. Not. I think at the beginning, you when you first buy a, a caravan or a motorhome, you buy everything that you don't need, and then over the past three or four years, three and a half years, you do tend to get rid of stuff. I mean, the cupboards aren't rammed like they were. That's very really true because uh, not so long ago we had a, we had a good clean out and we uh, did and he threw my electric kettle away which was yeah. brand new because we didn't use it then a week later he said where's the electric but, kettle but you, but you're right whoever dropped that comment I've got I forgot who it was but you are right uh, most people take things they don't need you just carry your weight about for no reason yeah. and, and we are the same and and we we shouldn't do it no <sighs> I'm just thinking now though but I've. I've looked in the cupboards today, and I do like to try and take things yes, back the that we don't use. <laughs> What's up with the bread? Nothing's wrong with your bread. It's just heavy, isn't it? Yeah, what I need to do is slow slow fermentation. No, what you need to do is go up shop and buy a, buy a loaf. Oh, he's so bloody ungrateful. He really is. I'm not going to cook for him anymore. <laughs> what make are your scooters? Robert's is the... Actually, we made Hang it. Hang on, what now? What's the scooters? Phantom so, Apollo Ludicrous. Phantom Apollo Ludicrous. Your scooter. Phantom S Apollo Ludicrous. Yes, and mine is the Solar Pro. P1. Apollo Phantom Ludicrous. Mine's the Apollo Ludicrous. So we got the Phantom bit from. I googled it earlier because you asked me about the weight and it's. No, it's America. It's a fancy, yeah. It's Apollo a, it's Ludicrous. Apollo, Apollo Ludicrous, yes, yes. Oh, might, yours might be lighter then. Uh, <sighs> I think we need to carry too much we don't need. Yeah, everybody's the same. Scotland. Haste you back, John in Paisley. Uh, are you too? We Lovely love Scotland. Lovely. I could live there. I could really live there. What's occurring? What's occurring? Who are they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I missed uh, it. There are two of you that said hi on here, and I don't know how to say hi back. So she's not talking to us. Unbelievable, Rianne. Who is it? Oh, Rianne. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is your scooter... Bob Burnshaw. Hello, everybody. The king of YouTube is on the live. Hiya, Bob. And Bob's a moderator, because he... I don't know if you realise, but he's been a moderator forever. So, yeah, Bob's on. No, it's his age. He's probably forgot. <sighs> How rude. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing you again soon, Bob. Yeah. 
uh, wait, what's that say? A grand two, I don't know what it says. Rob, where's the gin and tonic? Happy holidays. Rob, where is your, there it is. Yeah, I've got hands, you know. There you go. Uh, Daddy, who's called me Daddy? Who's Daddy? Yeah, Kings, Kingsley Miller, Daddy. Uh, happy holidays, Paul Powell. Tell us about the bread. The bread was, it looked absolutely amazing. It yeah, tasted it nice, a ton. but it was a bit too heavy. And I did cook it until it was 93.33 degrees Celsius inside. But what I need to do is slow fermentation. Is that fermentation? Now, what you need to do, like I said, is pop up shop and get a loaf. Lynn, have you ever swapped Rob for a wet mop when he starts? Swap, swiped him with a wet mop. No, but that's a good idea. She swiped me with everything else, folks. Trust Re me. Remotes, everything. Yes, everybody, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Yes, please give us a thumbs up, please, people. Um, are you going to have a live snog? Yeah. Mm. You do. Okay, maybe later. Stay tuned, maybe later, it's you not... will see a live snog. No. It depends how many love arts we get sued upon oh, this screen. Oh, no, no, no. Sod off, everybody. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, you're both looking lovely. In... Oh, you're looking lovely in pink. Thank you, Sheila. Oh, yeah. oh look, see, you've started them off now. Happy with that, folks. Happy. Lovely to join you both, Lynn and Rob, from Rianne. Oh, Lynn and Rob, it was okay. Julie Martin. Luna, can you say my name? Love you watching go, you too, thank you so much. It's great to do a live, you know, folks. It really is good to do a live. Bobby I have Enoch. missed you all. What? Bobby's box said Robert's, Rob's 60th snog. I don't feel 60, you know. Well, I'm not 60 no, at the moment. I'm 60 in June, 60. but up here I'm only like 12. <laughs> what size is... Oh, well, that's okay. What Some, size is what? I don't know. Somebody, he's retracted it. Oh, okay. Uh, great channel. Cheers. Uh, Stephen Jameson. How are you doing? Kev say, shut up. What was he say? He's on about tracksuits again. It's oh, not yeah. happening. Ever. I've got two now. I didn't I didn't want one, but I've got two now. Me now he puts a tracksuit on for me in the bedroom. With set of tape everywhere. Wrap me up. Greetings from a very windy fence. Uh, Sean, Sean McLean, was it? McLean? Do you still find it easy to go to work, Rob? You're struggling, aren't you? Not struggling. Shut well, up. I am, yeah. It is. The older I get. It's a young man's game, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And I've, I've done it all my life. Like, you know, yeah. I, do, I, do, I am starting to suffer a bit now, but it's a way of life. You can just, you know, it's just the way it is. And, so and I can't afford to retire, so that ain't gonna happen. Somebody just said our daughter thinks you, you guys are amazing, but she's only eight. <laughs> Brilliant. Unbelievable. What's, what's her name? Uh, you're looking very pretty, Lynn. Rob, shut up. Thanks for that, Andy. Uh, hi, Dress Rob. code for the meetup is tracksuits. Yes, no. definitely. No, it's going to actually be, and I need Kev. I hope you're still there watching. We need a race against dementia, Rob and Lynn on tour. Rob 60th, slogans, t-shirt, made, ready to top, order. Top notches of landscaping, he's starting to struggle too, yeah. You know, it's uh, it's frightening to be honest because time catches up, on, catches up on you so quickly. It really does. And all of a sudden it hits you and everybody, everybody will realise what I'm trying to say when they get to my age. Um, well, but honestly... Those two turmeric tablets that we were on about on the last video, they, they have helped. I mean, before, when I used to get up in the morning, my ankles were so painful. For the first 10 steps, you know, before you loosen up, I don't get that anymore. So if you haven't already, I know lots of people have, but I would honestly try. I wouldn't get the, the low strength ones from, you know, health food shops or anything. I'd buy, buy a good... Uh... Yeah, you got to do what you can, you know, as long as it's like... Uh... A natural substance to help you with your aches and pains. I've just thought, Lynn, you might have to get out claws. When you got married, are you sure Rob actually said yes? I can't imagine him concentrating long enough to give the right answer. That's very true. Actually, I never asked Lynn to marry me, I told her. He did. <laughs> oh, that's, yes. That's, that's another story. That is another story. Love to retire, no chance meet up would be mm. like the squid games with tracksuits. 
Yeah. You know, good. you know, go back to retiring. You you've got to have some money around you to retire. Yeah. Because to live the lives we like living, you know, traveling all that, you've got to have money. You've got to have money. You've got to, and if you're not bringing that income in. It's easy to spend, it's hard to put back. That's And especially the older you get, you yeah. know, the more money you think all the time, the older you get. When I was a kid, I'd just spend and spend yeah. and spend. But and it's, it's like I said about buying another van, you know, if we start going into, into savings mm. and taking money out, mm. we can't put it back. And it's our age, we don't want no debt. No, we don't, no. we don't, we no. Uh, Graham Bamber asking for a friend. Rob, what's your day job? I'm a dolphin trainer. I'll just, I'll just, sorry, you must have, have they just come on? They must have done Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fencing contractor, always have been. Yeah, we've had our own business for 29 years. Yeah. But before that, that's all you've ever done, isn't it? Yeah. Fencing. Yeah. Fencing, 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 fencing. Yeah. Uh, go on in. What's that? Oh, I missed it. Somebody said Are you considering selling the static? No, definitely not. No. Steve Jones, no, we're not. N not in any time soon because mm. I think we have we have gone over this on a, a video before. Mm. We paid sixty eight thousand pounds for that van. Yes. Four it could be four years old in July. Mm. Four or five? Five. Yeah. yeah, and it's probably worth about twelve now if we sell it, so if we sold it you have to really sell it back to the site. You can yeah. sell it privately, but then you have to pay for disconnection and mm. whatever. No, we said this on the last vlog. If you buy a static caravan, you you must buy it and keep it. Yeah. Because you'll never make any money. You'll lose money. So you've got to keep it. Yeah, yeah I think 68 <coughs> we'll probably be offered 20000 for it yeah. now. So it's just not worth No, no, so it. stopping it as long as you can, yeah. Why do you own a Chucky doll? He has been with us. No, that's Lynn. She looks quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> Chucky's been with us ever since we've had caravans. Well, since the children left. Yeah. Um, and he just sits in, in here and he stays in here. Yeah, to be honest, I've got absolutely no idea why we've got, why we've got the stupid doll in them. You know, it's just ridiculous. Look, you're in it, so Chucky's in here. Uh, my mother, Anne Loxton, loves your channel. And watches Anne Loxton, we love you. What's occurring, Rianne? She said, yes, exactly right about retirement. We can't afford to retire, living the lifestyle we do. We, we That's can't. because I'm always drunk. Well, it's, I mean, you've got your fuel, you've got your tax insurance, everything, yeah. you've got your alcohol, you've got food, if you like to eat well. Yeah, yeah. It's all made up. Owning a motorhome, and I'm just a normal working bloke, owning a motorhome is very, very expensive. Yeah. Very expensive. And if anybody tells you any different, nah, very expensive. I'm... It's not buying one, because we, we, we can all go out tomorrow and buy a brand new one if we wanted to, all of us. It's not just for buying it, it's keeping it on the road, it's keeping its service, it's keeping the hab checks done, it's keeping tyres on the things, it's keep putting fuel in it, because they're not cheap to run on fuel, no, no motor home is, so yeah, keep it all up here people if you're going to buy a motor home. Yeah, but it is the best way of life. Rob, can you employ some, oh I missed this, what was that Rob, can you employ what? Can you employ someone to take a bit of work, we do. But yeah, it's 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 more complicated than than it seems to be honest. In my job, it is anyway. It is, and you yeah. you train people up, and then they think, oh, I can earn the money that you they are, and then that's so they go off and start their it's own the business. Semi toy if you get you the old over. bird a job. Yes, Paul. Paul, what was that? Raftery. Yeah. Raftery. Yes, Paul. That's very true. I'm looking for a job for Lynn, and she's looking as well in McDonald's as a burger flipper. No. I'm not. I do enough. I have our granddaughter two days a week. We are away three days a week. That gives me two days mm. to get everything done. And if you like want a cooking video done, then that's a day, another day out of my life. So yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. To, to it's be just honest, time. I just don't have time. Yeah. To be honest, I only do like about three, three, four days a week now. Anyway, you have you have calmed it down. Yeah. I mean, it won't... it's not because it's not by choice. It's because I'm not physically be physically able. To do it five days a week, I just can't do it, it kills me. When we, were, yeah. when we first started, we were doing seven days a week. Oh, seven days a week, we were for years. We were, years. and like to start the business, we were walking the streets yeah. every every day, posting leaflets and trying to drum the business up. And yeah, yeah. so it's time he started to slow down. Yeah. Martin Law, hi to you. Hello, Martin, how you doing, buddy? You should write a recipe book. What, on fencing? 
Anthony Bassett, he had a business for 21 years as a build. It's bloody hard work, isn't it? Don't it? Yeah, I think, I think our trade, the building trade, which is the same kind of thing, it catches up with you in the end. It really does catch yeah. up with you. And when I was a kid, I thought, because I worked with blokes, I don't know, 50, 50 years old, I worked with blokes, and they said, wait till you get some ways. As a kid, you take no notice, but they were dead right. <laughs> it catches up with you. Yeah. Uh, somebody's just said, have we ever had a caravan? Yes, we have. We've. What do we do? We miss anything about a caravan? Yes, yeah, space. A car. And space. Space is the main thing to me. Well, this is big from here. No, but you got more space you in the have. caravan. Yeah. I'm, no, to me, the only drawback with a motorhome, unless you're going to tow, and Robert won't. Nah. Is having a car, so nah. we have to try and make sure if we want to go somewhere that we've got. Uh, a bus bus station, you know, mm. a bus route cl close by, which we have only just started doing and loving it, aren't we? Yeah, I don't, I, I don't want to go for this conversation again, but I don't see the point in having a motorhome and towing a car. Buy a caravan, you got best of both worlds. Sheila Howes has just said she's thinking of putting the tour on a seasonal pitch. Good idea. Um, as a practice to possibly getting a stack up static after touring for thirty five years. Good idea. Have. Be very careful, Sheila, with buying a static because they do depreciate, like we've said. Yeah. And there's a lot, a lot of things to consider that people don't. Yeah, we we made a mistake of buying, uh, selling our tour and buying a static. Though we could, we didn't think we could do both. We didn't think we could afford both, but when we were in our static, the first static we bought for I don't know twelve months, we missed touring so much. Yeah. We really did. So we went out and bought a tour. So. Try and keep your caravan as well if you can because yeah. you I will promise miss. you, yeah, you will miss it. Yeah. I've got well, there's a, another couple mm. that has got a, a static near ours and they sold their Torah, mm. bought the static, absolutely love it. But it, I was talking to them the other the other week and he said we, we really miss it. We're thinking about buying a motorhome yeah. or a yeah. caravan again because it's, get out. it's exactly the same as when you buy a new house or you, you move house. Everything's new and lovely. Everything's new and lovely, and you're all excited. And it's exactly the same when you get a static. The view is lovely and you you know you love it but you do it does become the norm if you try, know what i'm trying to say uh somebody wants to shout out for their wife she she mimics all of our sayings that's that's lorraine hello lorraine how you sorry, doing sorry if i'm missing people out if we've yeah, missed yeah. you out you can always recomment it's just the comments are going mark so hang quickly. on mark vlogs is thinking of living full-time in his motown go for it because to be honest and i've said this many many times if it wasn't for lynn I will be living in this tomorrow, but she won't. Go for it. You're only here once, mate. If you want to live in your most home, go for it. Yes, Beth, we need to sort out a Just Giving page. That's uh, one thing I need to do. And I, just I think it's pretty what? easy to do. For the charity, for people who can't come to oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. For the meet yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, Martin Law, are you doing Europe this year? Hopefully, we're going to Ireland. Ireland! We want to go to Ireland. That's, that's, that's not a very good act, Irish accent, is it? Uh, shall shall I bring my tool, Kevin and Hyde? Shall I bring my tools? I don't know what I mean. Does do we need anything put up? Oh, shall yeah. we bring any tools? I mean, if if you've got them yeah, with yeah. you, then you can prop me up <laughs> on the last day because we are doing it over the three days, aren't we? Yeah, just and going back to our meter quickly. If anybody wants to come and help, please get in touch. Please come and help because we need all the help we can get because it's a massive event. We don't want to go on about it too much, but yeah, all help is appreciated. Yes, and if you when you come, you know if if. If you say you're going to help, then I'll put you to work. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I, I don't say no to help. Yeah. And for the blogs that can come with me and get hammered. <laughs> Hi, Vivian. How are you? Vivian well, Banks. Yes, our Vivian. The lovely Vivian Banks from America. How are you doing? Lovely, lovely lady. Yeah. Top notch, Rob. Actually, that's one of the today. reasons we want to go to America, to meet Vivian Banks. Yes, we do. Uh, how do how do we do? Are you coming to the? Rob, you cracked me up. Lynn, you need a medal. Yeah. Susan Sill. Stephen Jones, are you coming to the event? If you are, can you bring your donation gifts with you, and then we'll sort them all out on the day because we haven't yeah. got any space. Yeah. If you're not coming, get in touch and we'll arrange something. Yeah. Um, oh, is Rob <laughs> originally from Dudley? No. No, he's from Star Starbridge. I get Abner as well. Anthony Bass, good man. Uh, where? Oh man, they go too fast. You'll have to read. I'm trying. I'm trying okay. to. Nick Lovell said, "I've said I'll help. Thank you very much. You will be put to work. So don't get crying to me at the end of the weekend." 
Would you sell your house? No, but that our house is our children's inheritance, so no, that doesn't doesn't come into it. Yeah, if it's up to me, I'll sell it. I'll sell it, get hammered. Can I post if can't make it? Yes, you can, Dave and Chairs. Mm. Just privately message me or drop me an email and we can sort something out. Uh, somebody just messaged which, Mark Allenby. I'll ask you later. Sorry, because uh, I can't reply at the moment because I'm using my phone to see the comments. Wow, there's 358 people on this. Right, and we've only got live. 110 thumbs up, people. Yeah, we need more thumbs up, folks. 357. Yeah, because people. it all helps our channel grow. <laughs> <laughs> love it when she says that. Love it. Oh, neighbor gamer, Robin Lynn, I'm so top fan here. Well, who've been here since you first started? Oh, so you're one of the poor ones that saw our atrocious videos at the beginning. They were funny. Chalk is in the van. They'll be there to help. That's wonderful. How are you enjoying Conkers? Nice love it. Yes, it is absolutely a beautiful sight, apart from the weather. I've mentioned this on our vlog that's going out Tuesday because we're at Conkers, obviously. And uh, if you've got an e bike, mountain bike, scooter, this is the place or to be. Or just to walk your dogs. Or just to walk your dogs if you like, uh, you know, hiking or not hiking, just Mark walking. Allenby, I'm not this place you. is perfect. Absolutely perfect. What you're drinking? Well, I can't drink anything at the moment because my phone is actually propping up my glass. My, my glass is propping up my phone. And I'm propping up Lynn. Move. Move. Best site you've ever been on. Might at the moment's mine. Well. It's, it's a toss-up between Gibraltar, the air at Gibraltar, which mm. I love. Um, There's so many... And Takaroo Taka at the moment. I love Takaroo. I, I like the... Uh, what's it called? Tap the three dots Endorsed. on the top of your mobile screen. It's not obvious how to give a thumbs up. Oh, so Bob's just telling everybody. Tap the three mm. dots at the top of your mobile screen. It's not obvious how to give a thumbs up. Thanks for that, Bob. The new voice is endorsed. Yes. Oh, oh that's beautiful. amazing. That is fantastic because you go on there and they and they just it's a, it's a proper you know site and they not a proper site it's a proper it, managed site it's, and they just say just pull on and where do you park you drive. park wherever you want. Yeah. There's, there's oh, a, that the, place is amazing. There's water. There's Alton points. It's just and you've got the wild ponies. Yeah, and and you're actually in beautiful. the forest. I think it's an amazing place. Yeah. Because you can, uh, you can walk. You just go for miles and not see any cars and things, you know. So yeah, that that is really good. How do you get out in the, the M MX Five? I also have one, but there is a choice between the motorhome and the MX Five. That's so funny. That is the MX Five. I actually because it, to it's me, old. It's, yeah, no, not it's it's a great fun to us runabouts. Yes. But and I love driving it. Even me, I love driving it. But I'm getting it easy enough because you're literally falling, but getting out's a bit of a tricky. <laughs> it is, especially if you park it at a car park and you've got a car parking parked fairly close, so you've got to squeeze in. It, you do struggle, don't you? Well, not really, but the, the older I'm getting, they are because I mean I'm not actually a small bloke, and it's you know one of them. Uh, never been on Beagles. Hold, I don't know what. Oh, I don't know, missed I, it. They just. Never been on one of Beagles it's called never, Conker. Oh, never been. One of our Beagles is called Conker. Thanks, oh, okay. on tour. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Absolutely It's a lovely fantastic. place. It really is. Open you to Ben Nevis. Have you been? I've been to Ben Nevis, yeah. I've been to Ben Nevis a few times. We have. Lovely, beautiful place. We, as we always say, we love Scotland. Absolutely love Scotland. Scotland is amazing. Scotland is probably... <sighs> Garrison. Well, to me, it's one of our, one of my favourite places. Yeah. I love Scotland. I love the Scottish people. I love everything about Scotland. Love it. Abs Ga and I'm not just saying that. No, I we absolutely do, we love both it. Do. Yeah. Garrison says, "What's the tablets for the stiff joints? They are oh, uh, actually. Hang on, I'll do it. We'll show you now because we've got them with us. Because yeah. we have to take two a day. Um, highly recommend Brown Bank Park in Silsden near Skipton. You must go, loads of walking villages. Oh, that looks interesting. There you go. There you go. Autoimmune Institute, Advanced Turmeric. I have put the link on, on the last yeah. video. I don't think... So, the, yeah, the link is there. Oh, smells a bit potent though, people. Very potent. Strawberry Fields in Limington and the New Forest with Motorhome Group. It's a lovely place, Motorhome Group. 
Yeah, the Dor Dorset is an amazing place. We we spent we have spent a long time in Dorset because yeah. our son used to live in Dorset in uh, Blanford Forum. Blanford Forum. He was he was based in Bovey, oh. so so he uh, with the with the Royal Marines, but he yeah. was based in Bovey. Yeah. I went out with them one day and we did uh, seventeen miles on a mountain oh, bike, mountain not bikes. an e-bike, just a mountain bike. I come back, I couldn't walk. <laughs> he come back and went up the gym. Uh, Michelle Merritt, what are you doing for Easter? We're going to Takaroo. Yes, Takaroo. Come to Takaroo, people. Again. Uh, somebody just said, how do you rate your Amarok? Do apologise if I've missed your name. Do my Amarok Andy, is... A... Andy's 10X. Oh, my Amarok is the best truck I've ever had. No, I've had them all. Apart from... We've, we did mention it on Tuesday's vlog, so we're telling you everything twice. But somebody has actually nicked the... Yeah. Circle, what is it, the wheel hub... With the the cap, you know, out of the wheel. Somebody's pinched the VW, what's the name out of it? Unbelievable. Yeah, but uh, the Amarok is amazing. The V6, anyway. Amazing. Uh, John B says, I have to roll out of the MX-5 nowadays. Very embarrassing. <laughs> it's not embarrassing. That's just life, isn't it? That's just the way it is. But if you like driving the car, yeah, I think they're great cars. I love the smell of, of the MX-5. It's yeah, because ours is old. It's like... 2009. Yeah, yeah. And it's got that old smell. And it's just... Yeah. Oh, it's a bit like do you want to slap live? Yes, please. Um, after your unfortunate Aldi fair, did you still use it or would just rely on the diesel heater? We've got the Alder on at the moment. Um, if we're on electric hookup, we use the Alder. Um, but the diesel heater is absolutely amazing. Yeah. It's yeah. really best mod I think you can ever have. Even in, I don't think many people with a coach built motorhome ever consider, think, you know, ever even consider about having one. But yes. it is absolutely amazing. And, and I can second that. It is. it is. It's just a life. If you do a lot, lot of off-grid, which we do. We do we're off-grid a lot. We absolutely think it's brilliant. Yeah, and now we've uh, managed to sort out, because we're not very technical, as you can tell from this live stream. Uh, we've managed I to am. So we've managed to sort out the, the uh, what's it called? I don't know. What? <laughs> that thing over there. What? For the diesel heater. What's it the called? The controller. The control panel. That's it. Hard words to remember. Yeah. yeah, we've managed to sort that out. So we know how to set it on temperature so the heat it comes in and cuts out. Because we didn't know how to do that for a bit. I had to read the instructions no, we ain't got a clue. YouTube it. Just no. We ain't got a clue. But we, now, now we're used to it. We can, uh, it, yeah, we're on the ball. It's like the fellas that fitted it. So just play with it and you'll get used to it and you'll yeah. understand it. But yeah. no. It's the same as anything, anything you knew, you just got to mess about with it and it'll come to you. But, and that's the same for us. Yes, with Steve's put on, we're still looking for raffle prizes, we are, and auction prizes. We, like I said earlier, we've got. Are we going some, back to our meetup now? Yeah, we have got some amazing yeah. prizes coming, but we mm. need more. We need to raise mm. more money than we did last year, if mm. that's at all possible. Mm. Yeah, we won't go on about our meetup too long because they're. Most of you know what's going on, but twenty thousand uh, five hundred pounds we raised last the, year. The uh, dementia is very close to our hearts, and it's close to many, many people's hearts. And we just want to put a bit back. And the more we put back, the more it's going to help people in the future. So yeah, happy with that, folks. Happy. Lynn, do you have an air fryer at the static? How do you rate them? I've got a couple air fryers. You always cook with air fryers. I I've actually got three air fryers, and I. Never use the. I did use the oven the other day because I had to put the bread in it, and I can't get my air. The I've got a Dutch oven, and I couldn't get that in the air fryer, so that's had to go in the oven. See, this is my argument about making bread. Oh, it's cost more because I've had to use the gas. Cost more. It's cost about twenty quid to make a loaf of bread. Shop up your own. You get a loaf of bread for a pound. Where, when was the last time you bought a loaf of bread for a pound? I don't know. It's damn sort of cheaper than one you've made. <sighs> anyway, um... I'm sure you all agree with me, folks. Air fryers are the best thing ever. I've made cakes mm. in them. I've cooked meat. I've done a whole roast dinner in one. She's dried the washing oils. in them. <sighs> Shut up, Robert. <laughs> have you ever been into any sites in Norfolk? Yes, we have. Yes, we went is to... It, is it White Beach? That's, White Beach that's Farm? That's Kesington, isn't it? Kesing, Kesing... Kesingland. Kesingland. Is that what it's called? Loved it. Absolutely yeah, loved yeah. it there. Yeah, we were right on the sea. That's another fantastic site. Is it, a Kes is it White, White Beach Farm, Kesingland, I yeah. think? And you're right on the beach. You can actually park and the beach is just there. Amazing. France was great for us. 20 euros for a camp. You can't beat France and Spain mm. for camping. It's totally mm. made. It's more so for motorhomes than it is for caravans. But it's 
absolutely amazing. The, the, only, the only thing that you, about Europe is you've got to drive a long way to get to places, you? You really yeah, have. Yeah, it's such a it's such a, a vast country. I mean, when we dropped down to Gibraltar, because we hadn't taken our time, we had sort of gone down pretty quickly, but mm. we didn't. I don't think we understood how how massive, long, how massive, massive. and how long the drive was going yeah, to be to get yeah. back. We gave ourselves was it four days or four six day. days? No, we gave us five days. I think it's five days to get back from to Gibraltar. To get back from Gibraltar. To Man, Calais. what a drive, people! Jeez, all we were doing sleeping, uh, driving, sleeping, vlogging, driving, sleeping, and eating, obviously. Yeah. Man, it's a long way, a long way. Sandra Jones has just said, uh, is there Wi-Fi at Takaro? I, I got good signal. Yeah, we got good yeah. signal. Mind you, we got the neck gear, so yeah, I don't know what set up Even on my phone, I've got good signal. Yeah, yeah. Um, Bobby's got heated, brilliant. Keep up the good work, Lynn and Rob from Jimbo and Jeannie from Thank Shrewsbury. Thank you, Jimbo and Jeannie from Shrewsbury. Kevin Davis, yes, the rally is sold out. We've opened a reserve list. You um, said that? Kev Davis. You're booked on, aren't you, Kev? You better be. You've got to come and sell T-shirts. Um, <clears throat> we have opened a reserve list because we do understand people are going to cancel. They did yes. last year because yeah. pe people's circumstances change. Yeah, there's uh, about 250 vans coming. That's what we are uh, allowed on the. Uh, yeah, that's what's on booked on at the moment. Yeah. But uh, <clears throat> as, as Lynn said, people people's circumstances do change. So if you want to go on the reserve list, please do it because you never know. Uh, them sober noodles and fab, they are, aren't they? Absolutely. Doesn't feel like, doesn't feel like fast food, does it? They're so, you and you love them. Yeah, them all. Uh, Lynn and I Rob, can't say I like anything because I love it every day. What do you think of North Wales for a holiday? North Wales is beautiful. Yeah, we've been we've been to North Wales many 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 many, many, many times. What's what's our favourite place? Camping on the farm in Aberaeron. Keep the air on, I'll call it. That is an absolutely beautiful place. Mm. Well, we used to go to uh, Prestaven, Prestaven Sands in the uh, Haven side. Oh, no, when we had little kids. We went there probably yeah. every week for years. But the, the, yeah. <coughs> the thing... Until they started putting the prices up and going mad and then we stopped. <coughs> but we went back there a couple of years ago, didn't we? And mm. you shouldn't revisit, I think. I don't think you should... I don't, we have said this before. But because our daughter had such fantastic memories, she wanted to take her son, I think he was one, or was he Jacob two? Our grandson for his birthday. So they booked um, a static, and we said, we'll meet you down there, and it's changed, hasn't it? It's. I think everything's changed. And not, not for the good. No, I think everything's changed. <clears throat> I think it's a good idea putting your sayings on a T-shirt. You're looking very pretty, Lynn. Shut up, Robert. Mm -hmm. Spoke. Excuse me. Adventures with the Huff, Huff, Huff Houghtons. My mum has dementia. Thank you for doing the meetup and raising money and awareness. You're both so funny. Love watching you. Thank you very much. And yeah, we think yeah, it's a we're, fantastic. And we're very sorry to hear about your mum. Yes, we we are. Mm. Kesingland is in Suffolk, but the other two two sites, Sandringham and Lovely. Sandringham, I want to go we, there. We so want to go there. Every time yeah. I've gone to go, it's it's been fully booked. I've, is that a king of YouTube? It is. Okay. Peaky Park Timers, hello Peaky to you. Peaky Park Timers. Uh, Danny, can you please say hi to Danny? Travelling Wibblies. Definitely hello, Danny. Try Takaroo. There's Chris always, every time we say Takaroo, he thinks of Xanadu. Who's that, a travelling dipstick? <laughs> Chris. <laughs> hi, can you please shout out to my fiance, Amanda Meddings. I love her very much. Your channel is the best. Thank Hang you on very there. much. Amanda Meddings. What's his name? He says, can you just give her a shout out? Is that Jonathan? Jonathan Brady. Jonathan. Uh, Amanda. Is it Amanda? Yes. Amanda, Jonathan loves you so much. <laughs> Ian Charles, <laughs> Lynn want more likes, put two thumbs up in front of the screen to see fireworks. Hey? Didn't work. Don't know what that means. Um, if we were retired or had longer in Europe, then we would do it, but so many lush places in the UK and Wales. Yes, and not do lose that. Rianne, what's the curry? Yeah, Rianne, I totally agree with you, and it's not very often I agree with you. But <laughs> the UK has so much to offer. It, it really does. does. It really, really does. If we had the weather in this country like they do in Europe, I'd never leave this country. I think it's amazing. Kev not Davis. this country, I mean 
the UK. The whole of the UK, yeah. yeah. It's Ireland that we want to do because neither yeah. of us have ever been there, mm. so we would both love to Desperately go Desperately want yeah. to, always wanted to do Northern Ireland. So, yeah. Good, Kev, I'm glad you're there. He's there for four days. Uh, Anthony Lass got good TV signal at Takaroo. We don't, to be honest, We, I think you're telling me it has, so uh, yeah, it probably has. Well, we've never had a problem. We so. don't use the aerial. No, we use the fire stick. I just use the fire stick yeah. and uh, we yeah. we'll live stream off yeah. that. So we're not sure about the TV signal, but we find other things to do rather than watch TV. Red Kite as well, yeah, Bob, that's another place we would love to go to. <laughs> what are you giggling at? Nothing, love, nothing. Give Fudge a belated birthday, my dog, Bobby's box. Fudge, happy belated birthday. Happy birthday to you, Fudge. Rubbish. Happy birthday, dear now, Fudge. Come on, we're not happy birthday no. to you, Fudge. From Rob only, not at all. We are not starting giving happy birthday shout outs to dogs. Well, I have. I like Fudge. Have you ever met Fudge? Southern Ireland, absolutely lush. Yeah. It's Northern Ireland I want to do more so than anything for some I reason. I don't. I want to go to Southern. No, yeah. Well, I'll drop you off and I'll go down to yeah. Southern. Right. Yeah, but I really want to go to Northern Ireland. Do you think there's a lot of snobbery between YouTubers? Yes, 100%. They're more full of crap. Who said that? <laughs> Rachel Jones. There's there's good and bad in every walks of life. You're gonna. Yeah. It doesn't matter what profession. That's very right. What... Yeah, but it can be very childish sometimes, which we tend to keep out of totally. Yeah. It does be, but uh, uh, every every hobby, every everything that you have, you're gonna get good and bad people, and you're gonna That's get. Right. So That's I mean, right. I, I we I used to have horses. And the horse world's bad, so it's the same everywhere you go. It's uh, we we just try and keep ourselves to ourselves. Because and... I'm very shy, you know, in real life. No, you're not. Uh, Southern Island. Gary and Jill says Southern Island's absolutely lush. Who are they? Never heard of. Them. I'm Greenfield. Hi, Anne. I hope you're well. Yes. Have you, have you, you got over the floods? Yeah. How's the house going? Uh, Paul and Helen and Rob. Rob and all talking about motorhome expenses. Don't forget your Fiat based vehicles are due timing belt kit replacements every 48 months. Ching ching, really? Cam belt every five years, isn't it? He said four, 12, 12 yeah. Don't be yeah, obviously, fast stretch is still five. Yeah. Fudge is a Jack Russell blind as a bat. A bit like Gary. Like Gary. <laughs> <laughs> I got it in before you. <laughs> looks like a Jack Russell as well. <laughs> uh, what's your favourite place to visit? I think we've done that one. Yeah. Did you have a shy horse or a pony? I had, mine was a Fells. We had an Arab and we had Appaloosa. an Appaloosa. Uh, oh, you name it, we've had it. I have actually been on a shy horse. Yeah. Actually, I've been on a racehorse as well. Yes, we stuck him on a racehorse, but didn't tell him it was a racehorse. Man, they didn't tell me it was a racehorse. Jesus Christ, I soon got off that. So Andy Tenex has said it a, a few years back, you passed me in my hometown in Wales and Lynn shaded happy holidays that's the first time I've seen you really oh wow, wow. what's his name Andy Fox. Andy Andy Tenex Andy Te well done Andy. well done Andy. Andy hello Andy Lynn how did your little legs get over the horse <laughs> get Andy, over the what on a horse I had, to, I had to put her on my shoulders and then chuck her over you know you said I was going to get hot in this I'm going to need to I'm going to have to leave you to in the trusted hands of the blithering village idiot. <laughs> Bloody old bird. Right, what's going on? Uh, doo -doo -doo. Kevin Parrish, love your little dogs. Yeah, we love them too. Darcy Gamma, is this? Do you have any more horses? No, we don't because... Oh, there's a bit of a story there because years ago my daughter had an accident on horse. Because she was riding the horse where she shouldn't have been riding it, and she the horse shot into a tree and broke a femur, and she was in a wheelchair for over 12 months. So I went absolutely ballistic because I've always said they're dangerous, and they are dangerous, in my opinion. So we got rid of the horses, and that's the way it was. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh. Boo boo. Hey you two, Paul here from Auto Two. Oh, sorry. Hi Paul. Hello Paul. Paul. How you doing, mate? <sighs> I've had to get changed again. Look, like t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> you have to excuse me as well because I'm wondering. Oh, we've got the heating on. You've got to have the heating on, haven't you? When you're uh, when you're paying for it. Uh, Lynn was a donkey. Lynn was. Lynn donkey. was a donkey. 
uh, Darcy the Gamer, Gamer. Rick, hi Robin Lynn, are you still in contact with the Travel Trolls? Um, no, basically, no. Uh, Darcy the Gamer, I have horses. Tropical moment, Lynn, yes, you could say that. Hang on. Sitting next to me. No, it's not. It's uh, it's one of those tropical tropical moments. That's a very good way of saying it. Uh, you guys are such an inspiration. I love you. Can you please send a shout out to Danny? It's her birthday. Happy birthday, Danny. Uh, hang on. I'll be back in a minute. Uh, 321 people on here. Uh, Kevin Davis, you've got a lot of fans on here today, Rob. <laughs> I think he's taking the mic off. Oh. <clears throat> Right, let's get back to Danny. Happy birthday to Danny. Oh, man. Happy birthday, dear Danny. Happy birthday to Danny from Robin in on tour. Happy birthday. You could have done me. I don't need one just yet. Where are you today, Kevin Parrish? We are at Conker's Caravan and Camping Club site yes. in Derbyshire. And it's a very nice site too. It's beautiful. It's, 20... it's absolutely Brilliant. <laughs> it's uh, twenty pounds a night with electric, sixteen amp electric, and if you come in season here, it's thirty five pounds. Something like. That. I think it's thirty six pounds. Which isn't too bad actually, because it's cracking so. <sighs> ah, shut, shut up, up Robert. Robert. Please shout out to my hubby Gary, please. Oh, not another Gary. Tilly Barker wants to say hello to Gary. Hi, Gary. Not you, Gary. Her, Gary. How you doing, Gary? <sighs> not, not you, Gary. Don't get excited. No, I'm not, talking to you. Not the uh, irritating not the... Gary, the other one. Deb and Dave, what's been the most important lesson you have learned from motorhoming that you can pass on to new motorhoming? Okay, the most important lesson to me is... Layout. I think. Give him oh, yeah. a minute, I'll wind him up. Well, you know, everybody knows what motorhome they want, don't they, and what will suit them. But uh, the shocking thing for me since motorhome is the, the actual expense after after buying one. Yeah, no, I think if you're looking for a new motorhome, if you're looking for a motorhome, your first one, don't go, to, I wouldn't go to a show because you're rushed. I would go to a dealership, sit in it, as we have done. Find, find the one that you really, really yeah. like, sit in it yeah. for an hour mm -hmm. and just imagine yourself in there make, and it's get the layout that you want. Yeah. I mean, we got, we've got the perfect layout, um, what we wanted, which was the island bed and the two bench seats and mm -hmm. the two captain's chairs. But my ideal van now would be the U-shaped lounge, which is the one I really, really want, but I can't. Yeah, can't the, pay yeah. the kind of money that they're yeah. asking for them. Yeah, the only yeah, like like Wings said, take your time. There's no rush. Kevin and Heidi do motorhoming. You said layout 100. percent They agree with me. Yeah, but uh, still take your time. Sit in it and uh, look around. You know, just sit in it and look around and look at everything like carefully. Like I said, layout. Uh, Caravan Mackies, where is Rob's T-shirt? Whack him. Get him in the get in the pro appropriate dress code. Uh, is Rob considered considering starting an OnlyFans account? It's <laughs> not up. No. Hey, that's a good no. idea. Don't shut up. You don't even know what you're talking about. You don't know what it is. Just don't, don't. Please. Uh, Let me know what that means. No, I'll don't. Do it. You can't whack a rally. No, you can't. No, uh, rallies. I've said we've said this many times, but rallies. All the time. The atmosphere is better. To, to us, in our opinion, the atmosphere is better. You can you can have a bit of a laugh. Everything is like more relaxed. I don't know. It's different. Yeah, it's like last week when we were at uh, Bramblewood, and it's like, where do you want us to park? And it's just park where you want. There not on, not, obviously not on sites like this. No, I'm on about when you're yeah. in, in a field. I mean, yeah. when the when the weather's good and you're on a field, mm. it's brilliant. And like next week, there's there's a few of us going up to Takaroo, and you just park where you mm. want. That isn't a rally, but it's very similar to a rally, isn't it? 
part where you want and just get on with it. As long as you're respectful to everybody else. Yeah, which, which you know, you've got to be, haven't you? Yeah. There's other people about you. You've got to be respectable to each other. That's, that's what makes a world go around. Rianne, again, disagree with you, Rob. Lynn is right again. Our first one we changed three times within a year to get oh. to get the right layout. Who's that? Rianne. Oh, can you block her off or something? <laughs> Do you think any motorhome is built to live in full time due to the quality? No, I don't. They're not. And if you'll find if you live in them full time, your insurance is void. That's something to consider as well. Yes, but there is ways around that. Tanks on tour said what Lynn said. Uh, by the way, I'm a fan. I subscribe. Thank you very much. Yes, come on, people. We need more subscribers because it helps our channel grow. <laughs> so if you haven't subscribed, why haven't you? Please do it. Yeah, brilliant. Alan Bishop, can you say happy 50th wedding anniversary? Wow. Who's that to? Uh, Alan Bishop to his darling wife Anne from husband Alan. Anne. And Alan, happy, happy 50th wedding anniversary. Yeah. What yeah. an achievement. 50 years, wow. Well, congratulations. What's going What's your favourite club? If you mean camping, whatever, caravan and camping. Car is that what we are? Yeah, caravan and camping, because that's who we do the rallies with. But to be honest, we didn't try... We. We haven't tried the rallies with other clubs, have we? I know the Motor Caravanners Club, they look really good, but we just didn't use them, so... Yeah, to be honest, if somebody, if somebody could order... Uh, order? If somebody could sort rallies out without get, uh, being in a club, we, we won't be able. No. End of. Just uh, wouldn't do it. Olivia Hall. Hello, Olivia. Well, Olivia, how are you doing? Candy what? Creations. Yeah, an amazing young lady who is in the process of raising... A Fortune again for us. Yeah, I think she's right. Yeah. So <coughs> about three hundred quid yeah, or something. Absolutely mm -hmm. amazing. Danny, oh my God, thank you for singing Happy Birthday. Who's that? <laughs> for Danny, you just sang Happy Birthday. Happy Birthday to Danny. Don't you've done it. <laughs> I want to do it again. Yes, come on, people. We've got three hundred and twenty of you on here, and only two hundred and forty-seven thumbs up. Unbelievable. Yeah, let's see if we can get up to three hundred thumbs up, people. Nick. It might give me a chance again to snog if Lynn's happy when we come off this live. Uh, Beth Crow that said Nick's parents. <laughs> Have their 65th wedding anniversary on Thursday. Wow. wow! 65 years, man! Yeah, Rianne, I think we do, we do need to rejoin the Motor Caravanners Club because they, they are such a fantastic bunch of people. They're the ones that, if you go to any of the Warner shows, uh, they're always there. They are they're a lovely, lovely group, but sadly we we didn't catch there's them up the other way. There's only so much. Yeah, there's only so many clubs you can... Because when we first went into motor, I mean, we, we joined, joined every, every club. Yes. But there's only so many you can use, and if you don't use them, it's a complete waste of money. John Brooks, thank you very, very much. Yeah, of twenty thousand pound, it was it blew us away, didn't it? What we oh, raised yeah, last it was year, amazing. twenty thousand five hundred pound to be exact. Amazing, yeah. So yeah, uh, caravan club rip off. Do you think so? Yeah, hundred percent. We don't use well, we very rarely use club sites. Uh, but we use the rallies. So that's that's why we are a member of the caravan and camping. Are you about the car? Uh, I don't know if you're on about the caravan and motorhome club. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Can I can I can I just uh, go back to that? Because I'm just a normal working bloke like most of you, and I don't like getting ripped off. So this rally we are on now. We've got 16 amp electric. We're on, we're on a great pitch, the same as everybody else. But there are uh, people on here that haven't booked through yeah, the rally. Yeah. They're, they're paying 35 pound plus for their stay over the weekend we're paying 20 pound right. now to me if they can do charge you 20 pound on a rally why can't they do that for everybody so it makes it affordable for people who are struggling and we all struggle at times why can't they make it affordable for people who are, who are not less uh, you know or not as fortunate as some people so they can come away why why can't they do that? That that's baffling to me. It's just, if they can do it on a rally, why can't they do it all the it's, time? It's it's shocking the the prices are. Yeah. yeah. Um it's just my opinion. Rip off. Gordon Byatt said, Hey Robin Lynn, just watching you from my hospital bed was hoping to get away but unfortunately got knocked down by a car last week. Wow. And needs an operation on his leg. Oh poor you, Gordon, yeah. please get better soon. Yeah, Gordon, all the best mate. We wish you a speedy recovery. I've lost a lovely comment. Oh, lovely comment on what? I don't on here, and I've lost it. Oh, it was something about you drinking. Nice to see you drinking water, and I'm on the alcohol. Shocking. Yeah, always on the mineral water, mate. Always. He just tell fibs. Proud of you. That's it. I'm on holiday. I'm gonna have a drink. Proud of you, Rob. Drinking water, not lightly, and shocking. 
Shocker. Uh, we all need waders for the meetup. I hope not. Oh, come on. We need everybody pray for some good weather. We, we've been so lucky the last three years, yeah. haven't we? Yeah, listen, people. Doesn't <coughs> matter what the weather is, I assure you, everybody comes, we'll have a blast. Yes. It's it's such a good weekend. Good. We don't let anybody go away unless they're smiling happy. Yes. So if you're not, another great weekend. You'll be forced to stay, and you'll have to put up with him for longer. I'll swap him. You wouldn't swap me. I would. would. <laughs> uh, wish us luck. We're off to use all powers for the first time. Oh, good. Well done. I hope it, it will be brilliant. Steve Valin Benidorm watching live now. We argue as much as you do. I doubt it. We, everybody, everybody thinks we are. We no, never, we never argue. No, we bicker continually. Yeah, yeah. But we, ne we never argue. No. no, because we bicker all the time that we we get rid of all that energy, that mm. bad energy by just. Yeah. Oh, I could slap him though. We're just a normal married couple, like most well, of you. I'm normal. At least one of us is normal. Somebody just says some of the site caravan pitches, yes, sixty to seventy pound a night. It's now, uh, can they justify that? Hey, where does that money come from? Where do, where do those prices come from? Don't nah, know. totally disagree. I'm sorry, but I totally disagree. It really riles me because they're ripping the normal working bloke off. You're in your uni you're in, in your own unit. Mm. You. We all just... work hard for our money. We've all worked hard all our lives to get our money around us, and they're just taking it off you, like giving kids sweets. It's just. Nah. Taking kids sweets? Like taking candy from a baby. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't reading know. Comments. But you know what I mean, don't you folks? I don't like being ripped off. Uh, Dead uh, against uh, it. Our rally's non electric. Some are electric. I mean we've well, got some a, on. like this one that we're on at the moment at Conkers mm. is a rally mm. and it's hard standing with sixteen amp electric. It's uh Elson Point water, you've got everything that you want. It's a proper yeah. caravan and camping club site yeah, that but, we're on at the moment. Yeah, but, yeah, but some rallies haven't got electric, okay? But I assure you, if you go on a rally and they've got no electric, there's people there and everybody, if you are struggling in any way, there is always people on every single rally across the country will rally around you and sort you out your power. 100% they will help you out. That's right, isn't it? It is. Yes. And people who are coming to our meetup, if you struggle, if you're struggling for anything, come and, as we've said yeah, before, we'll sort you out, come don't and worry. find us and yeah, we will you, help you You'll be absolutely you fine, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you use the Chernobyl machine, or is it just is it just a bread bin? Is that the Afri? The new, the, <laughs> oh, the it's big brilliant, one. brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, we will we'll tell you the truth. We we haven't actually used it used it yet because we are charging this one solar. And solar, which and, beca is taking and because a lot. because the weather is crap, we've got it up to eighty percent at the moment. We're waiting to get it up to hundred percent so we can give it a really good blast. But there's some friends of ours uh, coming to. They're, got, they're going to the, the West Mids DA at, in Lick, May. at Lick Hill. Yeah. Um, and we we're going to lend it them so they can they can test it out properly. Yeah, but because they've got a, a tent as yeah, we said yeah. before. Yeah. Uh, I read this earlier, Keith and Michelle. Today is the anniversary of the very first lockdown. And wow. I said that to you this morning, didn't I? And I was only saying to, I know we keep changing the subject because we are very random, as you know. Yeah, and we're going on a bit as well. We are, we've, oh gosh, yeah, we've done 72 minutes and 51 seconds so far. Anyway, going back to that, it feels like a, a dream. It, it just feels so surreal, doesn't it, the, the first lockdown? Well, yeah. all of the lockdowns. It feels like another, a lifetime ago. Because they have said on the news today that we're heading for another pandemic. But can you see anybody else locking down like what we nah, did before? Nah, that ain't gonna and all the polit politicians mm. just carried on in their own merry way. We don't want to get into into it too much, but COVID is something we've all got to live with. I'm afraid that's just the way. No, it is. they think it's it's, it's another it's one uh, a disease that's going to jump from animals to humans. It's not COVID. It's a it's another one. You need to read nah. the news. You're Sleep your lights out. Yes, the clocks are going forward next weekend. Yay! Were you excited about that? Oh yeah, and I am. I'm gonna put lights on. You haven't got our light with us, have we, this weekend? The dreaded lamp. I'm like the, I'm like the, well, he's like the Grim Reaper. I'm like the lady in the lamp. <laughs> oh, you can have a and b in the Isle of Man for £32 a night. Really? Wow, there's still 305 people on here. No, uh, if I think they Love think you all. Because you have a motorhome, we all have money, and we'll be, yes. Yes. I agree. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's, what, what was it? 
said, I think because we all, we have motorhomes and caravans, Who is it? that they think, Gordon buy it, they think we've got money and then Gordon, we can afford it. Gordon, that is absolutely bang on. That is the truth. Anybody, if you're taking your motorhome for service, a garage, whatever, they see motorhome, they see money. But they, they don't, don't know realize. the truth. They don't know the truth. We're more skinned. Yes, because we bought the motorhomes or the caravans. We're all broke now. So can yeah. you do it cheaper, mm. please? Which you're exactly yeah. right. One, and I agree with that one hundred percent. Stephen Brown, I don't want to know. Stop rubbing it in. He's enjoying the sunshine and cocktails in Benidorm. Benidorm, beautiful Benidorm, love yeah. it. We were, we were saying. I was, I was saying this to a couple today that as well that we were talking to that, that after our meet up because. Believe it or not, it is absolutely exhausting for us and for all our helpers. But forget about them anyway. For yeah, us, forget about them. We are absolutely knackered by the end of it. And we yeah. said, what we'll do, we'll go for a long weekend in Benidorm. Mm. And it was like, we can't. They've got dogs. Mm. And we've, we were saying, so once our, I mean, we love our dogs to bits, but once they're gone, that's it. Mm. Because they're tying us, they, they tie you down, don't they? Yeah. Losing hours drinking, Rob, Kathy's just said, when the clocks go forward, we'll just have to drink more. But we were away anyway, so we're happy with that. Right, I think it's time to go, people. And if anybody has a subscribe is watching this, get, hit There's, that button. Are you sure you, do you want us to go, or do you want us to carry on? Because we've still got three Yeah, we don't want to bore you all night. I mean, Saturday night, I mean, you've all got things to do. Get hammered, isn't it? My mum worked at Lick Hill Manor 45 years ago at the nursing home. Wow. Oh, they wow. Really taunted. I bet she's got some stories to tell. It's actually gone through to have... Um, it's got planning permission there to be turned into luxury holiday apartments. Yeah. And it's been accepted. Uh, Please stay. Stay, you're not boring us. Love you both. Uh, Can you tell my husband to buy a motorhome? Joanne Whitley's husband, go and buy a motorhome. What's his name, Joanne? Uh, Richard's court carry on. I know, but it's Saturday night. Oh, no, I lot... just want to snog, folks, yeah. and I can't do it on here. Haven't you lot got anything better to do? <laughs> I have. <laughs> Stay... <laughs> <laughs> Think again. Uh... No, don't mean you. I'm going oh, out. Look, you're going out. Go on then. Off your trot. Before you go, can you do me a drink, please? I'm off. I'm off clubbing, but uh, people. Darby and Joan. <laughs> I nearly spat my coat out. <laughs> Darby and Joan. Uh, does anybody know what Darby and... Because we had a Darby and Joan club near our house. It's got old fossils like you, Yes, isn't it? but I don't know if anybody else... You, do you, any of you know out there? Bobby's box, thanks for... Are you coming to our meet-up, Bobby, this year, Robert? Are you coming? He, lo he says he loves us two nutters. It, Richard Endia said he's better than TV. The Wibblies said I'm good till the England game. Who's England playing? Someone is on a bit. No, oh, because we lost, you mean? No, he said he's good till the England game. What's that mean? What, have, what, what am I missing? So. Uh, Beth Crowther said, We've got pizza to cook, chocolate to eat, the film to watch, date night. Have a lovely evening. Who's having a date night? Beth Crowther and her husband. Come on, come. Partner. Kevin Hyde is Nobby related by any chance? Uh, mm. He's a distant relative. <laughs> That's all we're saying so, about Nobby. Do you think they look similar? No, it looks nothing Robert, like that. can you do me a drink, please? I'm good looking. Uh, oh, oh, is it football? Oh, I don't do football. England are playing Brazil. Ah. Kevin Parrish, rather watch you two than TV. Amazing show, Robert, Lynn, Lynn and Rob again. Lynn before Rob, I'm happy with that. Brazil, Bobby's Box. Good, glad to hear it, Robert. Uh, Richard Endy, Brazil. Okay, you're playing Brazil. I get it. Uh, it's great watching you both. Made our night. Meandering Manship's motorhome lifestyle. You're just down the road from us. Some great free pub pitches around Derby. I sort of want to do more of pub pitches. No, because they cost more. Well, they wouldn't because you wouldn't take me in for a meal, would you? Denise Sutcliffe, we're going to Southern Ireland in the summer. Can't wait. Oh, I'd love to go. We're hoping to. It's. Uh, I, need to. I thought we were going for my birthday. No, after all, oh, oh no. We don't know. We, we, we just wing it. Quite agree with you, Lynn. Our dog holds us back from travelling potential, but we wouldn't be without them, would we? No, we wouldn't. We're the same. We won't have another. No. I mean, Dutch is 15 this year. Mavis is 9 this year. So, I keep saying it. We're not going to have Dutch for much longer, but she's cracking on. 
She still went out for a walk today, as she does every day. Still eating, drinking. So, yeah, we just carry on. Stacey the Game, hello. Apricot, hi. Chris Dunn, hello, Lynn and Rob. Love from Cheshire. Visit soon. I was actually conceived in Cheshire. How about that then? Uh, Bobby's box, stop calling me Robert. Okay, Robert. Uh, Stephen Jameson, Brazil. Okay. All the women are saying Brazil. Really? Boo boo, so much cheaper in France and Spain. It really is. The And it's so well laid out. They've got the infrastructure though, haven't they? Because the countries are huge. Could you imagine doing all the free space park ups and over here? It just doesn't happen. Uh, I'm a big fan. Kevin, Heidi, the motorhome. We unlocked the EC1. Rob reviewed. Might need Robbie to review it now. Wow, it's fast. They are. They are surprisingly fast when you unlock these bikes. Um, I heard a little toot. Karen Nain, England versus Brazil. Has Rob gone to bed? No, I'm back. Oh, fingers crossed, eh? I've just been doing a little bird to drink. Thank you very much. I'm back, folks. See, we've lost loads now because I've gone. Yes, we have lost 18. I'm back, folks. You can come back now. Can you imagine if we did a video this long, 80 minutes, 42 seconds? I'd watch it. <laughs> well, you would. You, yeah, you would. Everything we put on, you know, I'll watch. You know, we, we, you know, we do a vlog and uh, we're away. Once it's uploaded and it goes live, you know, I'll, I'll watch it all the time. Yeah, I always make him, like, can you wait until I'm doing dinner and then you watch it because I can't stand watching myself. Best wishes from Trotting Mare, Ange and Rich. The Trotting Mare? The it's trotting a Trotting Mare, aren't we? That was the Trotting Mare, that's the couple, are you the couple that we met when we were with Wrexham? And we had our diesel heater fitted and we stopped at the Trotting Mare and we spoke to a couple there. Are you, are you that couple? He hasn't got a clue, He's, he doesn't know what day it is. My Bless memory's him. terrible, to be honest. Absolutely terrible. <sighs> So uh, you do you should do got... more lives. Actually, we should. Because I, I love doing lives. I think, you know, you can, like, get really to know us, you know, and know what I'm, like, really passionate about. Beth Craver said, do you get hot with the sheepskin seat covers? No, they, they're mm. fine. They're just to protect the seats. Yeah. Well, to be honest, going, because everybody asks us about these uh, seat covers. Bloody seat covers. I think this is about... The third pair we've had. Yeah, they're rubbish. You can't wash them, they're rubbish. Yeah, if you wash them, they go to mush. They, they are good once they're on and they're brand new for like, I don't know, for six or seven months. But you can't I, wash them. I, I actually put, I, I can't show you because I'm sat on it. Yeah, we've got I, like blanket blankets on them. I put a blanket on yeah. because your jeans, everything stains it and they don't wash. Yeah. So I don't wash them now. I throw mm. them away and buy some new ones. Yeah, because they're like 40 quid and they're something like that. So we just chuck them and buy some new ones. Dave Large, how do you find the rallies? How do we find the rallies, Dave? Car Caravan and Camping. Download. You've got to be a member of Caravan and Camping Club. Mm. Download the app Out and About, and all the rallies are on there. But if you're a member of the MCC, Caravan and Motorhome, we don't use those. We only use Caravan and Camping at the moment. It's really, really easy to do. Yeah, yeah. You should do more lives. Yeah, for those of you who haven't tried a rally and you, you've got any concerns, please don't have any concerns because I'm sure you will love it. You will love it. Yeah. Angela Layton, that is the lady that we met, her and her husband at the Trotting Mare, who've got the seasonal pitch in the scruffy scruffy area, isn't it? Yours is. You're in the, the back of beyond. Oh, I remember you. Remember her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How are you doing, Bo? Uh, apparently, at the Trotting Mare, you've got different... They met us at the barrier. Yeah, we they were did, yes, you. yes. They, uh, at the Trotting Mare, you've got different areas, and where they have their tour is put is the, the, you know, we don't talk to those. So, yeah. Uh, you're planning to go back to Spain this year. We'd love to. It's we don't know. We don't know. It's it's. It's we we don't really plan. I mean, we want like I said, we want to go to. We Ireland. just wing it if we feel like doing something. We'll do it. It's, if it's, we don't, we won't. It's all dog dependent. We don't know how mm. long we can take Mavis with us. That isn't a problem. Yeah. Dutch would not cope with the travelling. No, she's she's very old and she doesn't travel very well. No. So. We've got to take that into consideration before we even think about going to yeah. Europe. And so when we went last time, our uh, daughter-in-law to Does be. Does anybody think I'll be thing. sensible tonight? You have, thank God. Uh, when we went to Europe last last time, our daughter-in-law wasn't, she was working from home, so she could have Dutch there 
because oh, I don't like she she's never been left mm. I because she's been with me hasn't she I'm, I'm always there and now she doesn't work from home anymore so it's hard mm. I've got nowhere to leave her and I, I wouldn't I, mm. I wouldn't anyway I, I, oh. I know some of you probably do leave your dogs in kennels and we she's so old to leave no, the kennels no, no, no. Yeah. but years and years and years and years ago we thought right we're going to go on holiday we'll put the dogs in kennels and we walked around the kennels it was like yes we it. are having a nice time Can't Olivia yes we are thank you oh, sorry do I, I do go on don't yeah. I, I do I just do, a bit yeah. your eyebrows have gone up uh, Lynn, Troy Smith I think no. I caught feelings Lynn my uncle taught me how to kiss and looked like Rob Skip that one. <laughs> and you remember the time I farted and you opened your mouth and said, oh. Skip that one as well. Yeah, what an idiot. <sighs> Richard Court, Lynn, where are the gloves that you were... Uh, oh, where were the gloves that... Where, where, I think you're about where the gloves from. They're from Aldi. They're silicon. They are absolutely brilliant. Better than massive, clumbersome, thick oven gloves that we all, all have used. Um, uh, somebody else said yes definitely do lives hi Robin Lynn from John in cold Scotland it's not much warmer here John from your beautiful country in Scotland it is How you doing, buddy? oh it's 8 degrees outside here it doesn't feel it though with that wind it's cold I don't care if it's minus 40 in Scotland I absolutely love the place I know when we were you probably all know when we come back you know off camera we were gutty yeah. didn't want to come back no but we had problems didn't we we had problems going on no problems, what problems? You have to come back from Scotland because of the floods. Oh, yeah. See, I told you his memory's gone. <coughs> um, oh, the Andrew Manchester, this is Golden. We head to Somerset this week for a warden couple job, topping the van life part of. Well, that's something I'd, I would love to do. If Robert what? decided to pack up work, I would love to do work as a warden on a caravan site. Would you? I told you that. I don't know if I could work for anybody else, to be honest, I've been on my own too long. Yeah. Would you ever go back to a caravan? Never say never. We never love Never say caravans. never. Absolutely love them. Troy Smith, please offer me some advice. About what? Come on what, then, Troy. What can, we, what can we advise you on? Yeah. What's this, dear Robin Lynn? Uh, <laughs> have you ever thought of having sponsorship like the Affords? Oh, the Radfords. I don't know. We don't watch them, so I You're can't. You're the Radfords? you never heard of them? I don't know. So, they're no, with, Stephen and Jim are, to be They honest. are lovely, but yeah. um, I don't know what sponsorship does, no. No, we don't know money off anybody, people. We are who we are. We'll struggle the same as everybody else. Happy oh, that, gosh, folks? I am Happy. so behind on these comments. Are you Australians? No. <laughs> Hang on, I'll hop over here. <laughs> no, we're not. We are British. Uh, Rob, what you do for work? He's a dolphin trainer. You should leave full time in your motor. You should live full time in your motorhome. I would. Love I can't. I can't. No, I've everybody got, knows you can't. So next question. I've got too many gadgets that I can't bring with me. I mean, have you seen my air fryer? My air fryer is amazing, but it's this big. I don't know why we really have taken it. No, here. What? Our little air fryer in yeah, here. But, I, but back, back. No, I can't. Uh, give you fencing a comp No, we don't do that. Isn't it 40 mile a wind? 40 mile an hour winds tonight. It is very windy actually outside. Um, I'm gonna get Lynn's knickers in. <laughs> in from where? Off a line. We haven't got a line. I've time to the tree. You haven't got a tree. It's like a wind sail. Robbie's being well behaved tonight. Well, he was. You spoke too soon. We've got to. We've got to go, you two. It's been a great life. Yeah. Keep up the inspirational work you do. Look forward to seeing you in July. All I love, Kev and Heidi. And yeah. yes, we have got to go too because yeah. I need food. Now, before everybody just disappears, we have got 284 thumbs up. Can you all give us a thumbs up, please, before you leave, if you don't mind? Yes. Just press the thumbs up. Job done. And we will love and leave you and hope you have a fantastic weekend. And thank you for watching us. Thank you for joining us. It is really appreciated. And, and we might. No. Can you you might your... before you go. It's not happening. Have a snog. Can you do your farewell? What? No, so not So stay safe, fellow motorhomers, caravan is tent is No, not you. Drivers older than you. We still love you. Nah, it's not the same, is it? <laughs> Hang on. 288. 
sure we can get to 300. Come on, right. 292. Come right. on, come eight on more. folks. Come eight on, more. you can do this. Give us a like. And then at, when we got to 300 <laughs> thumbs up, give us loads of kisses oh, no. and you will see the biggest no. snog no. of your life. No more likes, no more likes, no more likes. Got 297. Don't any more. Come on, we need to go. So as soon as you see 300 people, what's that on there? 303. 303 <laughs> right now. We want loads of hearts. Come on. They're coming. Are they coming? Yeah. Come on, people. Loads of them. 306. Okay, that's enough. Okay. Right, this is it. <laughs> Happy with that, folks. Happy. Thank you so much for joining us. We will say our farewell, so stay safe for the caravan as much as we tend to drift as far as I know. Holding you, we love you. We do. Thank you so much, you <laughs> people. We love you all. See you later. Have a good one. Yes! Oh, man.